Hello, this is Kara on Rump Raves. Um, I was homesick from school today. I don't feel very good. So I'm in lazy clothes, didn't do anything with my hair and makeup. But I thought I would do a video. So I'm going to talk about types of pads. Um, I have three categories. I'm going to be talking about whether it's like uh, an all-in-one pad or if you have a pocket pad. And then I'm going to be talking about the types of wings. And then I'm going to be talking about the general shape of the pad. Alright, so I'm going to start with all-in-one versus pocket pad, and I have two different types of pocket pad. So this is an all-in-one pad. It's just when the soaker is sewn into the inside, there's a backing and it's just all-in-one, and nothing comes apart. It snaps together like any normal pad, and it's just probably the easiest type of pad to take care of because you just throw it in the wash, you don't have to worry about putting in different absorbencies for whatever day and it's just all there. So next is a pocket pad that most people would think of is the kind that opens through the back and the liners just get put in through the back. Oh, that's the wrong way. And then you bleed on this side. You can have a layer of PUL or fleece, but it's just harder to do. So that's that. I have just three liners in here. Um, you can pick the absorbency, which is a plus if you want to have more absorbency options with having less pads that you have to buy or make. And the next type of pad I have is, again, a pocket pad, but it's the kind that you put the liners in from the front. So with this one, you can change just the liners and you can keep the base and you can wear the base. Um, I made this myself. I was just trying out this design so it's not the best. I haven't worked on perfecting it because I didn't like it very much. But it's just completely round and then when you fold it over it's like that and then the liners just go in like that. So, it's interesting. It works. So those are the three, like, main types. And then now I'm going to be talking about wing styles. So, I guess even, I'm just going to go from, like, in size order. From largest to smallest wings, all the way down to wingless. So I guess this would really be the biggest wing style, minus the pocket pad if you didn't want it to be a pocket. Just have it completely round, folds around, just like that. And then this pad is a pretty popular style. Protects your underwear a little bit more. Um, all the other ones I made myself, and this is a Honor Your Flow pad. So it's cute, I like it. Good fleece. It's her little label. Okay, so the next one is having a contoured top sewn onto the base, and then the base is where the wings come out. So I guess that could go with these, even though it's an all-in-one, but it's just made different, I guess. So yeah, you can tell it's just the contoured liner sewn on there. Um, these are bigger wings, but you could have them be smaller if you wanted to. The next I have are squared off wings. This is um, an Artful Angelfish pad. Um, I think this is her light flow. Really thin. She does ribbons. So yeah, they're not the smallest, again. But it's just whatever style you like. Uh, you could have them straight squared off if you wanted to. Hers are just kind of diagonal, but either way it works. Okay, next I have a smaller rounded wing. So instead of coming all the way out like an extra piece there, it just curves around and it has a smaller wing. So when it folds around, it's less that has to be underneath your underwear and it's less bulky. 
Yep, and you could, with any of these, you could have any type of pad. You could have a pocket pad or the kind that's sewn on the top. It doesn't matter. Um, triangle wings. So triangle wings start out bigger, so it connects to the pad more, but then it's smaller as it goes underneath your underwear. So then it's really small when it gets together. So that decreases the bulk even more. I know Precious Stars has pads like this. Um, the next one is having little tiny wings. So they just go around like that and it's just a tiny little strap around your underwear. Um, these pads tend to shift around a bit more. But if you are willing to deal with shifting and you just want the least bulky wings, then that's a good pad for you. Okay, this is another Honor Your Flow pad. This is the mini, mini, mini liner. I think it's like six inches long. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with the black, but these wings are sewn in so they don't come all the way around the pad. It doesn't have to fold all the way around and it makes it thinner than when you have to have a wing folded over either way. So then it's just sewn so it just goes straight to the back. So that makes it even thinner. They're not necessarily smaller that way, but it just makes less bulk when it doesn't have to fold around. Because when it folds around it makes extra layers. And then the next I have, I don't actually have any wingless pads because I don't like wingless pads. So I just have a liner that goes in a pad. Um, normally wingless pads are more contoured to keep them in place. Um, they do tend to shift a lot more. But if you like wingless pads, that's up to you. Um, the next are just the general shape of the pad. So I don't have these really in any particular order. Um, I guess I have two that kind of go together. This is an overnight pad. More coverage in the back because I'm a back bleeder. And I really don't need any coverage in the front unless I sleep on my stomach. So, that's good. And along with this one, the shape of the pad doesn't have to be the same in the front as it does in the back. Because this one is obviously not. And with this one, it's rounded at the top and it's squared in the back. So just whatever you like. This is another Artful Angelfish pad. She has that cool cut corner design. It is the same in the front as the back. But yeah, it just makes a little less bulk than having a completely squared off pad so it doesn't stick out. But then it's not the same as a rounded pad either. Just has a little bit of extra coverage of those corners. Um, this is another one that I made myself, but it's kind of similar to the Popples design, which is very, very contoured. It just has a big kind of jut out shape there. Um, I don't really like this shape because it kind of sticks out the side of my underwear and kind of just folds up funny. But it works for some people, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, you can contour it to any extent. Here is another contoured one, a little bit different. This is again too contoured for me, but I still like it. Again with the smaller wings. And the wings just go right into the smallest contoured part. And when you add more snaps, it makes a smaller gusset of the pad. So then it's thinner. Well, actually, it's thicker, but it's narrower, I mean. Okay, this is just a general straight pad. This is like a disposable shape, almost. It's just straight and curved at the end. Sorry, there's thread on there. Uh, this does have a different wing style. Uh, just gives more underwear coverage. Snaps up, easy thin, not bulky or anything. And the last one I have is completely squared off on both sides. This again, I have the triangle wings. Um, this is just a little bit contoured out. I guess flared more than contoured. 
and then it just comes to points in the corner. Uh, this is micro fleece actually. I really like micro fleece because it's really thin and it's a wicking fabric so the blood just goes right through and it doesn't stain either which is awesome. So yeah, those are all the types of pads that I have and that I could think of. So if you have any more other than what I've already mentioned, you can put it in the comments. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Um, you can subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. Bye!